There was an island. It was said to be quite magnificent. The fertile land and roofs of a city, like a terraced landscape, appeared permanently swathed in a golden light. There was an island. The myth says, in one night, it sunk completely into the sea, together with its people. There was an island. The residents were of an engaging kindness. Impressive was the mysterious grace of the women, their faces evoking a mythic ideal of beauty, perfectly merging the East and the West, to which, to this day, many women still aspire. There was an island. The myth says, in one night, it sunk completely into the sea, together with its people. I didn't know anything about the island on which I was born. But I did know everything about the big mainland, which was far away. I didn't understand my grandparents. They spoke the language of the island ancestors, and I only that of the remote mainland. At school we had to sing glorifying anthems for those men whose portraits hung above the blackboards. We had to be members, wearing uniforms, to practice salutations for those faces, for their party, which always wanted to be right. Seid bereit, immer bereit. Seid bereit, immer bereit. Seid bereit, immer bereit. Seid bereit, immer bereit. Hebe deine Hand zum Gruß. Knote dein Tuch. Knote dein Tuch. Knote dein Tuch. Knote dein Tuch. Seid bereit, immer bereit. Immer nett und adrett. Für die Diktatur, immer bereit. Für einen Kampf des Proletariats. Soldaten sich vorbeifahren, ihr Pionier 
My grandfather was imprisoned for no particular reason, like most of the victims of the dictatorship. For the first few years, he was often moved from one prison to the other, until he was finally sent to the prison island. My family didn't know where he was. Most people didn't know there was such a place in the world. Any letters to him were forbidden. But packages were allowed. All packages for him with food or clothes were sent to an administrative office and then delivered to him. So the family never knew where he was. Fortunately, he survived 10 years of imprisonment. But he was under continuous surveillance after his release. Früher gab es in unserem Land Spitzel, Spione, die informelle Mitarbeiter hießen und Leute observierten. Ich erinnere mich, dass ein graues Auto, besetzt mit zwei Leuten, vor unserer Haustür stand. Wir hatten uns schon gedacht, dass das Leute von der Stasi waren. Sie gehörten schon fast zum Straßenbild dazu. Mein Vater war für mehr als vier Jahre inhaftiert, bis ihn Westdeutschland freigekauft hatte. Ich schrieb ihm jeden Tag Briefe in das Gefängnis. Er wurde mein enger Vertrauter, jemand, dem ich alles anvertraute. Ich wusste, dass Briefe von Offizieren gelesen wurden, denn die meisten hat er nicht bekommen. Our mothers humiliated, beaten, abused victims for their dream of respect for their fundamental rights, for democracy. Most countries are called democratic, but the government fights against us, the people. In this democracy, the government is elected by us, the people. This is democracy. We are back on the road. The entire globe trembles. Freedom of expression. Freedom of speech. We have the right to liberty. Together, we are strong. We are under control and surveillance. Our purchasing power analyzed by business enterprises. We are virtual files. Parties are corrupt. We are ruled by money. Banks rule us. Economic independence. Our market is globalized. We are gentrified. Our country is being sold. Then the profits increase for Wall Street, for Goldman Sachs. Demographic change. Young people become extinct. This is democracy. We are back on the road. The entire globe trembles. Freedom of expression. Freedom of speech. 
We have the right to liberty. Together, we are strong. This is democracy. The situation on our island is getting worse. More than ever, we depend on the mainland. Our industry and money serve the elite over there. Also, the migration of our people is increasing. There is no chance to develop ourselves. All trade is controlled. Most politicians are corrupt and collaborate only with the biggest financial players. We can't live in peace or independently due to our geographical position on the borderline of the economic empire.